saw it. <laughs> Ew, stop doing that. Do the same thing. No, that's okay. sick. What's going on guys? So I just dropped off, it's been a pretty nerve wracking morning. I just dropped off Myla at the Houston Humane Society. Um, I just dropped her off and I'm gonna pick her up around 4 p.m. Um, the reason I'm dropping her off or the reason I did drop her off is because she's getting spayed today. So I know I waited quite a while to get her spayed and I know I should have done it earlier. So don't get on me for that, but I'm happy that I'm actually doing it. I'm, I've actually set up an appointment. I've set up multiple appointments in the past and they've all been canceled, not by me, but by other people. So I'm finally, I'm happy that we were finally able to get that done. So I just dropped her off here, right there to be exact. And uh, they're gonna call me if, there, if there's any complications or anything, praying that there isn't, praying that there's no complications. I'm hoping that, I'm praying that everything goes smoothly and she comes out 100% healthy. It's successful, it's, just, it's a successful surgery and uh, we can just move on with our lives. Baby, so many Franklin's in my shit, you think? I'm gonna go easy. I'm lying. So you want to know how you know if a black man is driving a Porsche? There's a hairbrush riding shotgun in the front seat. Black man's best friend, their hairbrush. Make sure it's buckled in tight, ready to go. So I pull up to Christian's house because he tells me to come over. And this is standing in front of, or this is sitting in front of his house. And then he texts me on the way over here and he asked me if I wanted to do manly shit today. So I have a feeling that he may have trapped me into helping him out with some stuff. So Christian just got like a series of brand new paintings from a subscriber. There's one right here. There's like multiple throughout the house. And I think we're about to hang that up right now. Should be fun. It's a lot of manly stuff I can do here. Oh crap. So, so far we've hung we've hung about three pictures. Yeah, that's good. Actually go a little bit higher. Right there. These are really cool paintings though. The guy that did this is really talented. Damn, I don't know. This not look safe. It's good, bro. When you don't have a ladder. The sad part is we do it. I'm back home. Well actually after I helped Christian hang up uh, pictures. I, we went to the gym, whatever, we had a chest workout, quick check, chest workout, and I didn't really feel like filming it because I just wanted a quick bodybuilding, solid workout, and honestly, sometimes I just feel like, I don't feel like recording all the time because I feel like, I don't know, for me, <clears throat> it kind of takes away from the workout. Um, I like going in there, having my headphones in, and just getting straight to it with no distractions, so that's kind of that's the kind of workout I had today. But anyways, back at home, and I wanted to give y'all a little, or show y'all, a little snack tip, something I've been doing a lot lately. Oh, shit. 
It just requires two things. Well, actually three things. A spoon, some Greek yogurt, and protein granola from my protein. This honestly, this stuff is so freaking good. So what I've been doing is open it up, of course. All right, so since I already know the nutrition facts and the exact or a pretty accurate amount of what's in here and the serving that's in here, put that down on the scale, press tear button, set it to zero, and then open this up, lay that down. And then what I do for the granola is I get one serving, which is equivalent to 30 grams. Um, 30 grams is equivalent to 3.2 grams of fat, <clears throat> 1.6 grams of fiber, and protein, 15 grams. So if you double that, you're getting you're getting 30 grams of protein. So since it won't fit in this small little container here, I'm gonna be kind of convenient for myself and not have to like go get a bowl or anything. I just kind of want to eat it all in one thing. I get 30 grams of this granola, put it on, put it in the yogurt container, and I just mix it up. There you have 30 grams of the my protein granola and light and fit Greek yogurt from Danon. And this is a pretty high protein snack. Um, high protein, low fat, pretty high carb, but it's a good snack. Good snack if you're looking for something quick and easy and tasty. Order you some my protein protein granola. Granola. Use my code C O K E R. My last name. Save up to twenty five percent on that, and get you some Dannon Light and Fit from your local grocery store. Mix it all up, and it tastes amazing. So I just got the phone call that Mila is ready to be picked up. Got my two scoops of. Vanilla protein from my protein, and I'm about to head over to the Houston Humane and pick my lab. The surgery went well, it was successful. She's a little bit drugged up and drowsy. She's in the back sleeping right now, I'm pretty sure. Um, the doctor said not to feed her until 9 p.m. and make sure that I give her her pain medication with her food. I'll make sure that she eats first, so. Um, right now, another thing I was told to do was to prevent her from itching and scratching the area where she had the procedure done. Um, so I'm gonna go inside to Petco and um, get one of those cone things. I know she hates it. I feel like all dogs hate it. So Mila honestly needs a pet bed or a dog bed. So I'm gonna spoil her since she's already been through a lot today. Mila is back home chilling with her cone on and uh, sleeping in her new bed. She's very, very drowsy. Of course, she's on a whole bunch of pain meds. Hey, All the other dogs are like wondering what's going on. <laughs> like, what's this thing on her head? They gave me like medication for her. Got these three tubes. Each tube was gonna be given to her once a day, every day at 9 p.m. So tonight, right now it's 7 p.m. So in about two hours, I'm gonna give her the first tube and give her like a handful of food. And then tomorrow I'll do the same thing. Plus I really monitor her eating and her like water intake for the next couple of days and just make sure that I put it, I gave her that medication every day at 9 p.m. But um, I'm gonna watch her for the rest of the night. I'm gonna chill, take a shower, answer some client emails, and uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow.